Hi friends, it's Edvige at Coastal Magnolia. Welcome to my channel if you're new and welcome back if you're already a subscriber. I wanted to do a quick follow-up video to show you how I finished these wine glasses. I just posted the creation video yesterday, but I'll put a link in the description. So I'm using Lightwish UV resin and I'm just pouring a little bit in a dish. You will also need a UV resin curing light and I have my light from Let's Resin. I will post a link in the description. I bought it on Amazon and it, it came with a great little kit. And there was some concern about water penetrating potentially um, in between the resin and the glass if they, if they were to be washed because when I was cleaning the rim, um, when I was cleaning little bits off of the rim, some of the resin did lift up and I'm concerned that the moisture is going to you know, go underneath the, the UV resin layer and potentially ruin the whole glass. And I don't want that. So I'm just painting on a really thin bead to seal that gap between the colored UV resin design and the glass. I'm just using the lamp long enough for the, for the UV resin to set just a little bit. And then, um, Zola's in the studio with me. You can hear her squeaking. Um, yeah, just want to set it just long enough where it'll, you know, is firm to the touch. So I'm not using the lamp for the full 60 second cycle. And um, I could probably use the bottle to add the little bead of UV resin, but my bottle, uh, the tip of it is a little bit big. So the resin comes out kind of fast. So the brush works fine. And I really do think this is going to work perfectly for just adding that last little little bit of protection that it needs. Um, you could add a full top coat of resin if you want to, but I really didn't want to do that. I didn't want to add a top coat and lose that beautiful matte finish that I got when I sanded down all the bumps and ridges and, and splinters from that initial bubble design. I really like the matte finish. Adding a top coat of resin brings that shine back, but, and, and it'll, you know, would cover any scratches, but all I really sanded down were the, the edges of those bubbles. And I really just like the look of it right now that matte finish. But I probably on some future glasses, I probably will add a top coat because I have a few other designs in mind and um, that I want to show you guys. Now you may have noticed that I'm using short burst of my UV resin lamp to cure that, uh, you know, that little bead of UV resin. So I have a plan. I'm going to, you know, I, I didn't want to use a full 60 second cure because I'd be here forever. So I'm doing just enough of the lamp to set that UV resin bead. And then I'm going to pop these outside. It's a beautiful, sunshiny Florida day. And the sunlight will give this a final cure and be beautiful. It'll, it's really turning out. I'm so happy with this. I'm so glad that I decided to do this because I think that is going to be exactly what I needed to do. So let's, um, clean the brushes. All I'm doing is spraying on or clean my brush, one brush. All I'm doing is spraying some alcohol and wiping it with a paper towel. And then I put my dish up under the lamp and it'll cure the UV resin that's inside the dish. And then I just pop it out and throw it in the trash. All right, so let's just go outside and put these on the table and let the sun do its job. Don't judge me that I still have my Christmas poinsettia in my yard. And I am just going to walk out and put these on my little work table. It's a beautiful, sunshiny Florida day. And I'm going to let the sun do its thing. Bye, friends. There's Zola on patrol.